Hi everyone, welcome to our YouTube video. This is Taylor with Active Grow Lighting. Today we're going to be talking about T8 LED horticultural lamps. As you can see here, these are clear lamps that will have a special spectrum for plant growth. This is the sun white spectrum here with the more yellow diodes. And we have the same type of tube but with the more reddish diode, so this is the red bloom spectrum. We're going to be comparing these lower wattage LEDs to uh, the traditional technology, which are 32 watt T8 lamps. And most fixtures that run T8 lamps can also run these lamps, which are T12 lamps. They're a little bit fatter version of the T8, but run in the same fixtures. During this test, we're gonna show you three things. I'm gonna show you the energy consumption. We're gonna show you the spectral analysis. We're also gonna show you the PPFD output utilizing this standard fixture that you can find on Amazon. Uh, we have two of the same fixture that we're gonna be doing those tests. One with the ballast cut out for use with LEDs because these are bypass ballast tubes and one that in, has the ballast still inside for use with these uh, more traditional technologies. There's another video that explains the ballast bypass that you can find on YouTube on our page there. So let's begin the test. So getting right into our test, you can see here that the LED side is the one closest to you. And the, in the foreground is the uh, T8 fluorescent lamps. So we wanna show you the wattage that's coming out of these, the difference. Can look here what we have showing here is the t8 uh, the t8 fluorescence so that is 55 55.8 watts and that's 0.81 amps and now as we come over to the LED side wattage is 44.2 so right at 22 watts a piece and the amperage is 0.38 amps so it's half of the amperage and this is not only due to the T8 fluorescent lamps higher power but also the ballast the ballast is having to run more amperage so even though it shows lower wattage the amperage is less on the LED side by a by about half. Now to begin the spectral analysis portion of our test we are using our plant lighting analyzer here to do our readings of the T8 fluorescent lamps and we have our results now that you can see here. So the 6500k CCT T8 lamps have a bit of green, some red, and some blue but very wavy. When we look closer at the data going into the RA number or CRI, that number is 76.5. So ideally we wanna be at 100 because that is what pure sunlight is. Now we have just switched out the fixture of the fluorescent for the LED tubes. You can see it's a different color here on my hand. The spectrometer is running now and you can see the numbers or the spectrum that we're getting here is a bit different than uh, the fluorescent um, very similar to sunlight and when we get into the data pointing out again the the RA number extremely important here it is 96 so only four points away from natural sunlight all the numbers from R1 to R5 are almost near 100, as well as the R6 through R10 and R11 through R15. So impressive high CRI numbers from this T8 sun white spectrum. Now we are taking our tests of the LED T8 lamps utilizing the red bloom spectrum. So you can see here that 660 nm wavelengths and 445 nm wavelengths are being utilized in one diode to create this spectrum 
Now, we're not so focused about the CRI for this spectrum as it is a different type of reaction we're trying to get with the plants. These are more for flowering or propagation. Uh, root growth is also useful for the spectrum. I wanted to do a quick test to show you what that spectrum would look like if you combine the two together, the sun white and the red bloom side by side. This is the spectrum you get. Very heavy boost in red, and you keep the blue where it was at 445, but you also fill in the middle area with uh, some heavy greens. So this would also be a very ex effective spectrum for plant growth. Now for our PPFD test, we're going to have our fixture 12 inches above the spectrometer. As you can see here. And we are going to start taking readings for this point. As you can see here, the fluorescent spectrum and the humoles over meters squared per second is 76.76. Now here we have the sun white spectrum with the spectrometer placed in the center and we will again confirm that this is one foot above the spectrometer. Counting for this size here. And we are taking our reading now. And here we have our sun white spectrum. And with the data, we look at the our humoles meters per second squared and 113.6, so substantially higher than the fluorescent fluorescent lamps. So as we all know, the one point of data that we showed you earlier is not going to show us the entire picture of how these systems operate over a certain area. So what we've done is we've outlined a 2 by 4 foot area where we show these numbers for every 6 inches at 12 inches above the plant canopy as well as 6 inches above the plant canopy. So we have those detailed numbers here for the fluorescent tubes as well as the T8 LED tubes in sun white spectrum and the T8 tubes with red bloom spectrum on the right. And if you pause your screen here for a minute you can take in those numbers and, and see for yourself the difference. Um, mainly being that on the LED side these numbers are a bit higher and even though they're much less wattage. Well, that's it for our video today. I hope it was useful for your understanding of horticultural lighting systems and some of the latest technology available. We pride ourselves on providing sustainable growing solutions for cultivators looking to cut their energy costs as well as their carbon output. So thank you so much again and uh, until next time.